Hello, 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 hello to all my wonderful friends all across this beautiful, wonderful world, this beautiful globe which we all live on. Yes, from the east to the west and the north to the south, from in every longitude and latitude of the globe, I send out big hearts of love to you today. Oh, it's hearts of love and power and energy. Yes, and I send you great big hugs, great big warm hugs today. Oh, and I send out healing power to raise you up out of anything that would interfere with your happiness today, anything that would interfere with your energy today. Oh, I send out power. I am the man of the hour full of healing power. And I send out all that dominion and authority from my great lighthouse tower. Oh, to you today, a lighthouse shining out power across the world. Because the reason why I shine out power, because I'm sending out love to the whole world. And that love is great power. We know that this time, at this time of Christmas season. Oh, yes, at that love that came to the world and said, for God so loved the world. Oh, yes. And yes, that that love was turned out to be great power and great healing. Yes. And so I ask you, I want to ask you today on this wonderful day, when the sun is out bright and everything's right, and I hope all is well with you, because it is a marvelous day. It is a wonderful day. It is a majestic day. The sun is out bright and everything's right, and I hope all is well with you. And I want to ask you today to remember. What was the happiest day in your life? Think back and remember what was the most marvelous, wonderful day of your life when you were the most full of vitality and energy, oh, and vibrance of every kind, and you felt wonderful, and just think that over and realize what that means, what that really means, and that is a ray of sunlight uh, coming from that full orb sun of your real being and your real self indicating to you who you really are, that you're a person that is intended to be happy and vibrant and full of power and energy and creativity. Oh, yes, and we have managed to let illusions and fears and superstitions enter in and keep us from having as many of those days like that as what we would really like to have. And so we have to look to our real being today and realize who we really are. And that's one of the things which uh, the, the, the babe that was sent to us as the ultimate Christmas gift, the ultimate biggest Christmas gift to the world was that babe in the manger who was sent for that very purpose to cause us to see our real being and who we really are. Every single thing that he did was to show who we really are and who we really can be and all the power and the dominion which we could really have. And that was the ultimate Christmas gift. And I ask you to think about that and think about 
how that your happiest day can happen for you every day. And it can be multiplied, that happiest, most vibrant day that you had could be multiplied a thousand times and could go on every day. And that's what that babe in the manger came to reveal to you that you could have healing power and that you could have love that would conquer all and that you could have out of your innermost being would flow rivers of living water not just small streams but rivers uh, and that living water is immortal water Immortal water, which has the power to heal and raise up and bring happiness and exhilaration and ecstasy and make every day a happy day and every day just like your best day and even multiply it a thousand times. Oh, yes, so think back and realize what was your most energetic day. Oh, yes, and what was your most exhilarating day? And then think about where all that come from and what that indicates. And then we will know how to go about getting those happy days to happen more often. And because you can see, the reason why this is, is because we will see how that our less than happy days really stem from illusions which we have, fears and superstitions which we have, which we can get rid of. Oh, yes, as we begin to look at that love that is the, the real divine love shed abroad across this entire world in an unconditional Passion. When you see yourself as unconditionally loved, oh yes, and in unconditionally loved in an eternal way, in an immortal way, in an infinite way, and you realize that the power is there to achieve your dreams and to make you ultimately happy. And so you experience pure unhappy days, knowing who we are then. And that our real being is always, we got to know that our real being is always supremely happy. That the real being within you is always supremely happy and always su supremely healthy and strong and always supremely vivacious and vital, full of vitality and full of energy and full of creative power. Because all constructive and energetic and pro all constructive, productive, and healing energy is already within you, and you have to raise your awareness to it. What we raise our awareness to, it counts. And so, uh, our real being is always right there by those rivers of living water, under that spout where the glory comes out, ready for those rivers of living water to flow out, ready to get rid of all doubt, ready to be raised above all fear and superstition, ready to cast out all illness and disease, ready to be a healer to this world. Our real being is always ready to shed out for that love which conquers all. Our real being is always ready to rid the world of hatred. Our, our real being is always ready to lift people up out of illness and fear and superstition and bring love up to this whole entire globe. Yes, and uh, all we have to do is look to who we really are. And so we need to know what we have, you know, when we think about and see, and I've told you, you know, to uh, remember, like when you start in your journals, I put down the bottom of the page or the top page or somewhere, put three acronyms, C-O-E, O, and then O-O-O, -O -O, and then L-O-A, and that C-O-E being coexistent, and we are coexistent as the powerful dominion sons of God, uh, powerful sons of God, full of dominion and power and healing, and uh, we're coexistent 
with uh, uh, our infinite divine mind, our source, uh, and that's C-O-E, and O-O-O, it means that, that our divine mind, infinite being, uh, infinite mind, God, our source, is omnipotent, omniscient, and omnipresent, all-powerful, all-knowing, and all-present, and so now, that infinite mind is there with us now, ready to blow out all that power to lift you into that happiness that you need, to lift you out of that illness which you have. It's always there to give you that opinion and power and authority that you need. And so we need to, and in the LOA, of course, that, that can stand alternatively for a, level, a law of allowing, <coughs> These are spiritual laws, law of allowing, law of acceptance, or law of attraction. And these laws of acceptance and attraction and all of that, uh, we need to know that by quietly and solidly knowing who you really are, just quietly and solidly knowing who you really are and allowing those rivers of who you are to flow out, it's going to serve as more attraction than anything else you can do that comes under the law of attraction or allow, law of allowing or law of acceptance. So allow those rivers of living water to flow. Allow that all-powerful love to flow, you know, and accept the fact that it will flow and then let it flow and do the attracting. And so that's how we can can operate those laws. And so it's a marvelous, wonderful thing. See, you are already awesome. You are already awesome, magnificent, enchanting, and abundant before any new manifestation or demonstration that you may uh, may want to uh, accomplish in your life. You're already there. And so uh, before any manifestation that takes place, that you're trying to get to take place through the law of attraction or any other law, uh, then you know that you're already ex uh, infinitely awesome, magnificent, and enchanting, and abundant right now, and it only waits to flow out of your innermost being. All joy and happiness and radiant health and etc. now belongs to us. It only waits for us to declare it and completely know it. We need to realize this because otherwise a lot, whole lot of creativity and wonderful energy is going to be lost. We're going to just lose uh, loads and loads of creativity and wonderful energy if we don't realize that all joy and happiness and ready and health now belongs to us. And so we should say, I am radiant healthy. I am radiant joy. I am a full of dominion and power. I am a strong tower. I am full of power. I am full of healing. I am full of vibrance and energy. We should say that and know that that is true, and then it will flow from us. Our happiest day, oh yes, it indicated uh, what was really on its way when we begin to open up and let it, all, all of this flow out of us. And so uh, the, the Christ came to awaken us to that full immortality and to awaken us to that full ordered sun of energy, full orbed sun of energy and power and dominion and abundance and radiant health and, and uh, vitality. He came to paint a picture of our real being so that we could see who we really are. And that was the gift that was given on Christmas Day is that he would demonstrate and manifest who we as the infinite coexistent uh, sons of God really are and what we really can achieve when we're up to our full of potential. We are actually eternally coexistent with inexhaustible health and inexhaustible energy and we're coexistent with, with a thousand times happier days than our happiest day that we have ever experienced. But we got to know who we are as one now with all good substance and power. We got to become solidly aware of infinite unconditional love and our inseparability with all and oneness with all good. And become realize that we are inseparable from that infinite, unconditional love 
if, if the unconditional love, if we didn't, if I ain't going to anything else, just being inseparable from infinite coexistence uh, and coexistent with, in, with infinite love and infinite unconditional love, that would be enough to give us all the energy and power that we needed. But uh, we lose a lot of creative and wonderful energy when we do not realize that. We do not realize that all good substance is already with us. And what is the significance in real? We need to stop and ask ourselves, well, what is the significance of these things? And what do they imply to us? And what do they really mean to us? And what will they do for us? And then we'll be in a place to begin to have a supremely happy days full of health and strength and vitality. Talk to you tomorrow on tomorrow's video.